Hello, hello, my lovely friends. I hope this video finds you well. My name is Lisa, and I'm from Isla and Alice. Gotta remember to say that. Um, today, I want to do a video about, well, essentially what this is going to be about is putting together sort of a fake junk journal, like a practice junk journal. And the reason why I thought this might be a fun video to do is that I went and had lunch the other day with my friend Kathy and she was showing me some of her journals and like so many of us she was feeling uh, not so much intimidated by the blank page but really just frustrated I think is a better word like where to start what to do what journal should be for what what journal should be for you know she had all these things going on in her mind so we were talking about why we journal and what my point was the journal should work for us not the other way around right and the whole experience of journaling is supposed to be that it's fun and relaxing and it should pull the best parts of us out. It should pull out our creative parts, our curious parts, the parts of us that really that want to play, that sort of inner child part, if you will. And she'd been staring at these journals for who knows how long and you know, it, it is, the, the, the struggle is real, my friends, the struggle is real. And I think it's one of those things, I don't think it even matters how long you've been journaling for, I think eventually we run up against these blank pages where you're just like, <sighs> right, like, what am I doing? Why am I doing it? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So my suggestion to Kath was you should just make a fake journal just put together a bunch of random papers that it doesn't the whole point of the journal is that it's an exercise in experimentation something that you're probably going to recycle and get rid of or not depending on how you feel about how it ends but the whole premise of doing this journal would be to essentially make all the mistakes that you want to make in it and not worry about ruining your real journal, your good journal, etc., etc. Because I guarantee you that if you feel this way, there's like, we all feel this way. Like we're not alone. Like I said, <laughs> the struggle is real on this one. And so I thought it would be fun to do one of these journals with you and kind of quickly go through a process of putting together just paper. So this was, I had printed out, oh God, a long time ago, some working on doing an email list for my business, which I may or may not, <laughs> still have not done. And I had accidentally printed this thing out twice. So I found this the other day and I thought, oh, this would be perfect. So I've got 10 pieces of paper here. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to stitch them together. So I'll show you how to do a three hole pamphlet stitch in case you don't know how to do that. Um, and you just, you can use ordinary yarn. Um, you don't have to use the wax thread. I mean, the thing is this, this whole project is about making something that you're really not in any way going to become emotionally attached to, afraid of, intimidated by, worried about, or any of those things. This is, a, this is an exercise to give you complete freedom to make mistakes, mess around, try again, try again, and try again. And my hope is that it will help take away some of the anxiety about a blank page in a quote-unquote good journal, new journal, you know what I mean, right? So the purpose of this journal is to figure out what kind of pockets you like to use. Where do you like to put the pockets? Um, stenciling, practice using stencils and making mistakes with your stencils. And this, we'll do some of that. 
Um, I won't make this video too long, um, but I thought this would be a good place to get started. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna set it up above me here on the desk. And then we're just gonna play around and see what happens, see what we get. I already know a little bit about what kind of pockets I like to use and why. So we can talk about that a little bit as well. But this is really basic stuff in the sense that the other thing that, that Kath was, was having trouble with was the lingo. What, you know, you watch these, these vi junk journaling videos and there's all kinds of words and this is a kind of a thing and this is a belly band and this is a tip out. And, you know, those are just really f fun words for calling things what they are, <laughs> which is something that tips out or something that is a pocket. So we can we can go through some of those things as well. So let's, uh, without any further ado, let's get on this because I think it's going to be kind of fun. And I like the idea of giving ourselves permission to absolutely not worry about anything it doesn't matter if it it is the worst looking pocket you've ever seen in your life because you're not really going to keep this and we're not getting attached to this so let's turn everything around and see what we get just a really quick ps i'm doing the editing for the video and i just want to apologize for how many times <laughs> the, the top or the back of my head is in frame oh <laughs> Oh, the humanity. Oh my goodness. I am so, so sorry. Um, I will make sure that I learn from, <laughs> from this and not do it again. Not that it's the worst thing in the world, but it's a little bit frustrating when my head keeps bobbing into the frame every once in a while. So I really just wanted to come on and apologize. And um, thank you for your patience in my uh, learning curve with making these videos for you. So anyways, I hope you will enjoy the video and thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So I've got about 10 pages together here. It's folded in half. So what you do is you take your pokey thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> This is going to be a bit of a challenge, so bear with me while I'm like, oh, is it here? Is it here? Okay, so um, you are going to make three holes, and you just poke it through. And normally you would want to do this, whoops, see, I'm doing it again. <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry. Um, you would want these distances to be measured out, but because this is a journal where we don't anything goes it's like <laughs> this is like journal anarchy <laughs> we're doing whatever we want there's no rules so you would poke three holes and I am not gonna this is not gonna look very eloquent but anyways there you go okay we've got our holes poked so then you would take whatever yarn you want string you know whatever whatever you can get through the eye of a needle and then I usually go like one, two, about three lengths. And then that gives you a nice tail if you want to decorate it at the end or whatever. So this is ridiculously easy. So do not in any way be intimidated by this. So there's a few ways. If you, if you look at this on YouTube, let me see if I, maybe I should move the iPad a little bit more like that. Maybe that's better. Okay. Some people go that way. Some people come in from the back it whatever you prefer so I always like to go this way so you take it through the middle hole then you go down to the bottom hole and don't poke yourself in the eye then what you want to do is go back through that middle hole again and you sort of pull this yarn to the side because you're going to try and not pierce that first piece of yarn or thread or whatever again then you bring it back that way. Then you come in from the back side to the inside of your journal. And that's it. It's just that simple. So you, I just put this under here like this, get rid of my needle and then tie it off. 
So of course the difference is when you're doing this, if you want your, your knot to be on the inside of your journal, then you start that way. If you want the knot to be on the outside, then you would start from going into the journal from the outside, right? So, okay, all of a sudden we have a journal. It's a bona fide journal. <laughs> I double dare anybody to tell me differently. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Okay, so here we have it. So now you could decide at this point, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope nobody gets seasick. I should maybe suggest that you will use some gravel or something before you watch me. Um, so flatten it down a little bit here. Now, something that I like to do and this is just a, a personal preference, right? I like to rip some of my edges because I like the I like that texture. So I'm just gonna go through here and randomly pick some pages. Let's see here. And yeah, so okay, you get the point. I love tearing paper. I love it. I really enjoy the the texture that it gives on this on the edge there. Eat. Okay, so here we have it. So you might be thinking, all right, here we have blank pages. What are we going to do first? Well, I think one of the things that we should do first is write on the cover in the spirit of what we're doing. This is just a test. Mistakes are welcome. There. <laughs> That's my, what's the word I'm looking for? That's my mandate for it. So I would think one of the first things that I would like to do um, on the cover, like on the inside of the cover, probably what I would do first is I, if, if it's white, because a lot of that double-sided paper from a scrapbooking paper, often the inside of it's white. So if you were to use it uh, as a cover, so the first thing that I would like to do, so I'm a huge fan of glue sticks and double-sided tape. I know there's a lot of, um, journal ladies out there that are not a fan. Uh, if you listen to Natasha from Treasure Books, <laughs> she hates this stuff. And she says it doesn't last. So it's up to you. Um, I do have some glues that we will try here. I find I gravitate toward these two things the most because they're the less messy. That's all. But, you know, again, no mistakes here. It's whatever you like, whatever works best for you, what fits into your budget. Sometimes some of the white, the fancy glue can be a little bit pricey, so you just have to, you just have to go with what works for you. Okay, so first I would cover this with some kind of paper to give it color. And if you were just using, um, depending on the, the cover that you had, this just gives it a little bit more stability, right? Then what I would do is I would want to put some kind of pocket in here. So then I would take another piece of paper, something I thought was interesting. So the question is, do you want um, a pocket? Hang on here. You want a pocket where you go in this way, down this way. I prefer, especially on the front covers, I like to give a pocket um, that sits to the side like this because this help firms up the cover a little bit. So you could do two things here. You can use the double-sided tape. Let's try this. Uh, I like this glue because it has the tiny little... Out? Is that the word? Uh-oh. I might have to... Okay, here we go. Do -do 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 -do. 
Yeah. Okay, I am just gonna get a Kleenex here. Okay, so here we are. We're barely, not even five minutes in, and we already have our first pocket. And it's great because you can put, you know, different size things in there. So you could layer up papers if you wanted to, which I love to do. Oh, no, nope, that's okay. So it kind of looks nice. You can add an envelope inside there, right? You could have a pretty envelope that you've made, and all of a sudden you have another um, oh, patch of color. Okay, so then, again, the most obvious thing to do when you have a blank page that's staring at you and it's making you feel really uncomfortable is just to cover it up, right? So I have a book page here out of an old uh, child's encyclopedia, and I love text. And so what I would do is I would take a page, fold this over, because, again, automatically there you have another a little tuck spot. Now, if you don't like this idea and you just want to keep this flat, of course, just cut this. But I like the idea that not only am I, am I covering the page and I'm giving myself um, somewhere up to start from, I'm also creating another pocket for myself as well. So here you have two options. You could just glue this whole page down or you can, which is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go and just glue around the three, uh oh, come on, the three sides. Uh, here we go. And then when we stick it down, we have created another pocket for ourselves. Okay, so we've got our pocket inside here, and now we have our space here. So for me, what I would do is I would put down a couple pieces of paper that I would like to use for journaling. Let's say like that, and then maybe another piece here, because I'm a big fan of layering papers up. And then I would simply just take a paper clip tuck that like that and then a couple things could happen with your other pocket you could take another envelope and you could put an envelope in there right like that and here we go so now you've not only dealt with the blank page staring at you but you've also been able to create another pocket that's really quite frankly so easy to use and it gives you versatility because you can get different sizes in there. So that, oops, is what I would do. Now, let's see. Let's put in what the kids today are calling a belly band. <laughs> now, a belly band is basically a piece of paper or some sort of strip that either goes up and down or side to side, and you would put um, some sort of paper, card, postcard, or something like that underneath it. So you could do something like that with a, a strip of tickets, like this. So you could take another page and rip it and rip it. And then I'll use my two-way... Oh, that's nice on that side. Let's use that side. We'll add a little pop of color. So the nice thing about the belly bands is that they do offer you, again, the ability to put um, different sizes in. Are we kind of... Nope. I think it's my mat. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Focus, Lisa. Focus on the belly band. So then you just glue that there. Okay. So what I think is fun about these is that you could take a piece of paper that you wanted to journal on. And then you just tuck it underneath like that. And part of the brilliance of something like this, and again, depending on the size... Uh, let's see if I have a bigger piece of paper here. 
is that it really can fill up a page. And then again, you're sort of hiding some of that white page that some of us just are not big fans of. So you could put that there, and again, you could layer up. So then you have two places to journal, especially if you like to do hidden journaling. So you could journal in there, journal under there, of course in here. Um, if you had something smaller, this can always get tucked in there, like that, right? And then, if you're like me, <laughs> and you're always trying to get more in there, then I would take a, uh, another envelope, and then I would just do like that. And then, voila, right? You've got your hidden journal spots, if you prefer. Or if you're trying to keep something that you've ripped out of a magazine that you like, some sort of um, recipe or review about a book or whatever it is, then it's there. It's right in front of you. You don't have to go searching around for it. So then if you were to do a belly band the other way, let's use these tickets. This is fun because you see these tickets a lot in... Um, ephemera packs and people like to send them out a lot for happy mail so let me just mark where the tape is going to go here and again there's no there's no rule that says things can't stick out to the side i think that's one of the most th fun things about a junk journal is when you have tabs sticking out the side it, it doesn't it doesn't have to be perfectly straight right it's a it's it's anything goes <laughs> It's anarchy, baby. It's anarchy. Okay, so let's put some sticky tape, two-way tape here. What would be what would be good um, if you had boxes, depending on what kind of length or shape of a box that you had kept, if it was the right width and not too too bulky then cutting the box out and using that as a belly band would could be a lot of fun too. The possibilities, my dear friends, are absolutely, positively endless. Which I know is part of the problem. <laughs> Sometimes you're like, ah, where do I start? Okay, so then again, we have our piece of paper. So there's, again, a few things. You could just tuck it underneath like that. Ta-da! Done. Or you could take a, a piece of paper and you tuck it underneath like that. And then just let it hang over like that. You could get something a little bit bigger. Will that fit? Nope. Hang on. Ah, now it fits. So then that goes in there like that. And if you had some tags that you liked kicking around, like say clothing tags or even something like a playing card, then there we have it. And not only is it functional, like it gives you a ton of space and a ton of options, it looks really pretty because you're mixing and matching all these colors. So now, um, the other thing, of course, is if you don't like having, if you're working with white paper and you don't like that stark look, then by all means, go go in and, and glue something on top of it. And then that just gives you uh, just even more of an interesting element to look at. Um, the other thing that you can do of course, before you start adding belly bands and pockets and all kinds of things, is you can use rubber stamps. Um, where did I put my... I pulled out a very large... Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's right here. Okay. So this is a great and easy and fast way of getting rid of a blank page really quickly. So you can have any, it doesn't have to be a large stamp. I just pulled this one out because it will be um, a little bit quicker, right? 
but you could do a whole stamp collage on here if you wanted to. So then, yeah, you just... Da, 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 da. Let's see if I can get another one out of there. Yep. Right? Presto. No blank page. <laughs> it's just that simple. Right? And then uh, the other thing that you can do, so let's get out, if you have stencils, um, where is my, okay, so you got your stencil, you got your dabber, and I love watching Pam at the Paper Outpost. If you guys aren't a, f uh, a fan of Pam's, you should go check out her page. She's a hoot. <laughs> I gotta tell you. Oh, that woman makes me laugh so much. But she, for me, she's the queen of just stenciling. And, and, and she's like, let's just see how it looks. Sometimes it looks great. Sometimes it's a complete disaster. And then she just stencils over it. She's brilliant. She's fearless in so many ways. I will leave a link to her channel. Uh, down uh, in the description box. This is making me a little bit crazy. Um, so yeah, anyways, watch her stencil. She's a hoot. She is a hoot. Okay, so. Just do, 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 do. Because again, there are no rules. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Looks pretty good. Right? Right? But the other thing is, if you hated it, if for some reason, you know, you're like, ah, <laughs> it doesn't look like what I wanted it to, then just glue another piece of paper over top of it and start fresh again. And it doesn't have to be anything... You know, again, you could just glue a piece of paper over top. So don't stress it. Don't, don't, that's, that's my number one piece of advice. Just don't, don't stress over it. So here we have two pages um, where you could put pockets of some sort on there if you would like to. Um, maybe you have uh, a postcard and you don't want a pocket so you could do a couple of things um, because you know to be honest I mean this is not the biggest junk journal in the world uh, so if you put a pocket uh, that's going to be kind of tight to get it to fit in but what you can do then is so this way you could open up and still see on the back so if somebody sent you the postcard of course you can still read the sentiment on the back and see the stamps and everything or you can use this as a the back of this postcard as a journal spot for yourself um, if you were so inclined you could take if you wanted to do some hidden journaling we could create a where's my handy dandy ruler here You could create a pocket right so again all of a sudden it's like ooh. not only is it sort of like oh what's behind here <laughs> surprise it's a pocket so then actually let's see if we can get the glue to work yep I am NOT the neatest or tidiest gluer in the world which is clear to everybody now. <laughs> okay, so let's just glue that in there. Yeah, see, I don't I don't use a glue stick to to make a pocket for obvious reasons, but I am 
I am just not handy with the glue. Okay. So then, so you could journal here. Do, 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 do. And then, bing, bang, booey. Oops, sorry. <laughs> you're like, I can't see what you're doing. Uh, okay, so then that would go in there. Or you could have a bigger piece of paper. And you could tuck that in there. So then you've got all of this to journal on. The back of this to journal on. And then you could have that to journal on. Or you can fold it down. Oops. <laughs> See? I told you I'm not very, very, very tidy. So then what I would do is take a little bit of regular tape and tape that in. And then get some of your handy dandy washi tape. Take that down, and there you go. Bing, bang, booey, you are in. You've got journal spot here. And again, if you're not crazy about what happened with this stenciling, you could glue in a piece of paper and, and cut it so that it's hidden behind the postcard. Or the other thing that I like to do, especially if I'm, if I'm ranting, <laughs> If I'm journaling about something that's really upset me and I just, I'm just writing and writing and writing and writing and I can't seem to stop writing, then I would take this piece of paper and I would again take my washi tape and I would do that. So then we have this to journal on, you would have the back to journal on. And if you are still ranting, <laughs> which, you know, that's happened. Oh, let's just say we wanted to use this. Then you could put this piece of paper underneath here. Right? And then all of a sudden, you can write to your heart's content and you get all that angst or whatever it is you got to talk about, you get it all out. Um, and then there would still be room underneath here if you wanted to, you know, if you had a sticker of a quote or something that you liked, right? So all of a sudden this one page now, not only is it not blank and it's stenciled, but we have an enormous amount of space to do journaling um, and hide things in as well. So... Um, so this page we have, what was I going to do, what can we do, as far as pockets go, um, I have a pen pal who regularly sends me funny things from page of a day calendar, and if you're a fan of these as well, these make great pockets, for obvious reasons, because you know, we all love to buy these calendars at the beginning of the year, or we get them for Christmas presents. And they make great pockets because of their size and because usually there's something really cute and funny on it. Or pretty, you know what I mean? And there we are. And then you've got your pocket. Holy cow, look at us go. Only I'm crooked again. <laughs> Let's see, it's like oh, look at that. We're just we're just steaming right through here, and we haven't had one blank page. Slow us down. Not one. Not one. Okay. So other things we can do for pockets. Now, um, the other thing that sometimes is kind of fun to do, especially if you've got the time. On a blank page or a page that you don't like, because sometimes when you get junk journals, um, they come with, you know, you don't like every single page necessarily that is in there. So you can take strips of paper. And, you know, once you've been doing this for a while, we all have... 
boxes or a drawer or more boxes full of scraps of paper. Right, so I'm just doing this because I have these strips. And again, it doesn't have to be strips. You could just create a whole collage of just random pieces of paper that you have floating around. This is why I love tearing so much. I was telling my friend Kath the other day at lunch, the first time I, when I was watching somebody, she, it was Linda Israel, and she had made this gorgeous master board of all these pieces of paper that she had glued together, sewn together, she'd painted it, and it was a, it was a good, it was about the size of this mat. I mean, it was, it was amazing. And I thought, oh my God, it's gorgeous, and she's going to use it as a, a cover. I wasn't sure what she was going to do with it. Well, she started ripping into it. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I was like, I can't believe you put all that time and energy into it. And, and now you're ripping it apart. Well, she ripped it apart to use it to make tags, again, to make pockets, and to do this sort of thing. So I, at first I thought, oh, the horror. I would never rip. And now I, I, I can barely use my scissors. Okay, here we go. No more blank page. Ta-da! Right? So then, of course, if, as always, it would be up to you if you wanted to put a pocket. Do you want to just um, leave it? Maybe you want to, maybe you think, oh, this is really pretty. And I'm just going to stencil over top of this. I mean, not every page in your journal necessarily has to have writing on it or has to have you know a hundred pockets on it sometimes it's just a work of art <laughs> well I don't know if I would go so far as to call that a work of art but you get my point sometimes it's about just having fun and getting out your craft supplies and you know trying out some paints or maybe you got some new washi tape and you just want to play with the washi tape and you're like oh I just want to because the key word here again right is play I mean that's what this is this is oh my dryer's done I don't know if you heard that um this is the whole point of this is that the journal is supposed to be a a, a safe place where you go in and you just express yourself creatively. Like I was, again, I, I can't draw to save my life. Like, I, I can't draw. I can't, I can't, I just can't. My brain doesn't, like this is me. <laughs> this, is, this is my extent of drawing, right? Do, do, do. And I, I, I went, I took fashion design. <laughs> I, I went to fashion school for three years. And this is still, this is it. Like I, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you, you create a book and you go in and you just have fun and you just play with the supplies and the things that you have that make you happy and you light it up, you, or that light you up, sorry. You know, it's about playing with color. It's about just getting into a zone and forgetting that there's a whole world of craziness out there. It's just about being with yourself for whatever period of time you have and just lighting up your soul. And I know it sounds a little bit cliche and I don't want to turn it into the, a whole woo woo thing, but the reason why we do these things is that it gives us time to exhale. This gives us time to de-stress. This should be where you come in and you unclench your stomach, you unclench your jaw, you literally exhale, and you just, you go with the flow, right? You, you go with the flow. And that's why I thought it was really important to, to do this kind of a video because I really just wanted to demonstrate the fact that this doesn't have to be overthought in the sense that it doesn't have to be a big 
deal to to be enjoyed, to be enjoyable. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be anything other than a place where you are expressing yourself. You know, maybe um, it's a collection of memories. Maybe it's a collection of supplies. Whatever it is, it's just there to make you happy. That's the number one goal. And so, um, yeah, you know, there again, it doesn't matter if this is crooked. It doesn't matter if there's glue hanging out all over. I mean, eventually, as we go, we're going to get better. We'll get better at using the glue, and we get better at knowing what we like and the colors that we like to put together. But, you know, it's it's really just, it's it's about healing taking a to taking time to sort of just heal that edgy side of ourselves. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> you guys know. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I think you get it. I think you get it. Okay, so here now here's a great example. Once again, perhaps you've been working through your journal and you come back to a page and you think, "Ugh, oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> I hate that." Well, once again, as my solution has always been for these things, you just cover it up. So just because you have one page and you've, you've done something on it, I mean, there's no rule that says that you have to live with that page. So certainly you could rip the page out. I mean, that, again, we have no rules. So rip the page out if you don't like it. You, you know, and if it's, if you don't have something on this other page, then no big deal. But if it is attached to something and you want to keep it, then just, just cover it up again. Just glue it. Just glue it. Right? So you get out your scissors or your ruler and you get your glue stick. Good as new. You start fresh. All right? And maybe you put a pocket there. Maybe you don't. Maybe what you do is you take a piece of paper. And kind of just a little fold at the top. And there's your, there it is. You've got your journal spot there. You've got your journal spot on the outside. You could glue a piece of paper like this. Hang on. So there's another journal spot. You could glue a photograph underneath here if for some reason you didn't want it on, on the top. Right? Or if you do have a photograph, pretend this is a photograph and it's something that you wanted to remember because this is where the journaling is, then you just stick it right underneath there. You don't even need the pocket. Look at that. We're almost halfway through. And then something else that's fun to do. Um, is if you have an envelope, it doesn't have to be a, it can be any kind of envelope. Like here, we can just even use a plain white. Um, so you stick it on there. So a couple of things. If you're looking for interesting places to put tags, um, glue here and glue here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Then we could put a, t a tag in a journal spot this way. Or do 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 this way, you can tuck it in that way. Or as I like to often remind myself that these things don't always have to go into the top, they can get tucked up in underneath the bottom. So actually, let's do that. So and then of course you've got the inside here. So when I did my December notebook, uh, the December daily. That was really my my big challenge for that whole process was to figure out 
as many creative ways as I could get a tag into something. Are we all crooked again? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so here we are. So we've covered a page, if that's our concern. And we tuck our something up in there. Then we tuck something in under in here, of course. Um, if you have something that you like to see, like you like the looks of, like say somebody sent you a postcard, well that that's not gonna fit there. Um, let's pretend that another one of these uh, page a day is a postcard. You could just tuck that underneath there and just get one of your paper clips. Oops. And there you have it. Easy peasy. Right? Maybe that one's not going to fit in there so well. But you get the point. It doesn't, that's definitely not going to fit in there. Hang on. The other thing, too, is that it doesn't have to be a card. If you had a, something, a bigger piece that you wanted to journal on and get more journaling in, other than just say what you could fit on a, a card like this, then you could just fold your piece of paper up and tuck it in like that and just have a little bit sticking out. So then, let's see. So another fun thing to do... Um, so let's... Uh, I just want to, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to the premise here of covering up a page. Now, if you're somebody who likes watercolors or acrylic paints or has crayons or pencil crayons, you could just go ahead and do a wash and paint over the entire blank page and then it's not a blank page. So let's glue this. Where's my... Um... Okay. So now, sometimes what's fun to do to make a few different kinds of tip-outs. So we had this tip-out here with the postcard, which is such a great way to use cards and postcards. Now, speaking of cards, no, that's not going to be a tip out. Where's the thing that I wanted to show you for um, a tip out here? I think, will this one work? Yep, this will work. It's just a little bit too long, but that doesn't matter. So you can take a piece of paper and we're going to butt it up. Actually, it'll be easier if we go like this so you can see what we're doing. And you just butt that up there like that. And then I'll first work with some ordinary cello tape. Now I kind of like to leave a tiny little bit of a space, like even that's not even quite an eighth of an inch. And you just want to check it so it's not, not too bulky. So you could just use the regular tape or um, you can make it pretty. And we're going to use some washi tape. And then we have another tip out. So a few things can happen at this point. Um, again, we have we could create space here for writing, and then your tip out comes over, and it is hidden journaling, right? Oh my God, I hope I'm not giving you a migraine. Oh my God, it's really okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, or, and then of course, then you have this side. So there's a few things. I've got glue everywhere. Oh my goodness. So a couple of things that you could do. If you want to, uh, you, know, you could have a card that somebody's given you, like a greeting card. So that could go in there. 
and you could either glue that in and just smush it down. You could glue around the outsides once again, and then it's a hidden spot for journaling back in there. And then for, for whatever reason, if you didn't want to, if you just like the idea that the card is hidden, then that just tips over. Now, you could use this, you could glue this piece of paper here, and this all of a sudden then also becomes hidden journaling, right? You could take um, and glue around here, smush that down, and then it becomes another place to tuck something inside. So you could tuck an envelope in there, which then in turn you could put journaling in there. You could just put other pieces of paper, store other keepsakes or whatever in that side. This is like amazing real estate <laughs> as far as junk journaling goes, right? Now, if you depending on, you know, you got to figure out as bulky and, and what you're sticking in and where. So if you decide, well, I really like this card and I'm going to just do some journaling on here. I'm going to glue that. Then you could also then in turn glue this down on the three sides. And then this becomes a place to put a pocket. And if you're really looking for more pockets, <laughs> and let's be honest, who's not? Then you could take a piece of paper and you glue it on top of here. And then the next thing you know, you've got another pocket to put something in there. So these kinds of tip outs, game changer. Two words, <laughs> game changer. I love, I really, I personally really enjoy this sort of thing. And there's just something, I don't know, it's like, I don't want to over-dramatize it, but it's sort of like being in a secret, you know, I'm sorry, I'm, stop fiddling with it, okay. <laughs> it's like this, all these little secrets unfolding, what's in here, what's in here? And then it's nice too, because then these things just keep um, what's in there and easily tucked in. Okay, so now, so we've got that. You could, uh, if you wanted to, you could also put some nice washi tape down this side as well. Um, and then that just adds, depending on how much stuff you're going to stick in there, right? That just adds a little bit more. And then you can always take your uh, take your paper clip and just clip it down if you need to. So then the other thing that I like to do also, we're getting. I think what we'll do because this video is getting to be way longer than I ever anticipated. I, I I don't even know if we'll. Maybe what I'll do is I'll end it. I'll do two more pages, um, and because I don't want to overwhelm you. Um, and I can also do more in this book if you if you decide. You can let me know in the comments um, what you think. But this is this is pretty good, I think, so far. But there's two other things that I would like to share um, that can be a lot of fun as far as when you when you've got cards um, that have been given to you. Because there's that whole thing about you know, you want your junk journal to be interesting and it, you just don't want to get the cards and be like, okay, so I glued that there and then I glued that one there. I mean, we all did that when we were, we were kids. I mean, I have books and books and books of cards that were given to me over the years that I didn't necessarily do anything special with. Those books are still a lot of fun to go through. Um, but that's, that's such, that's just not junk journaling in, in the sense that the idea of a junk journal is, again, to personalize it a little bit more, make it, to decorate it, for lack of a better word. You know what I mean? So, something that I think is a lot of fun. So, you get your, you've got your card. And, 
obviously somebody's written in here and told you how fabulous you are. So then this is what I like to do. So I will cut it. So this part, the front part, is going to become your front of essentially a pocket. Then I cut down the message. And then I would glue it on the back. So let's do that. Do, 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 do. Whoever invented the glue stick, <laughs> this is a genius. I would think back to the glue that we had to use growing up, that white, or the, the yellow. Well, I grew up with the dinosaurs, so it was so sticky. Oh my god. I love using glue that doesn't make a mess. I, Which I know kind of goes against what I said earlier about making a mess, but <laughs> that's a conversation for another day. Okay, so we have the front of the card, which is what we really want to keep, and the inside of the card, which we really want to keep. So, we are now going to, again, create um, a tip-out for ourselves. doodly doot. -doo. So, or we could do it this way. So, we've already got the washi tape here. So, let's do... Um, And then let's do this. Eek. And again, whoever invented washi tape, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, I wish my grandmother had lived long enough to see and, and understand the full beauty of washi tape. She would have loved it. Okay, so there you go. So, you're probably getting sick of me saying this by now, but you can glue in a piece of paper here. Doot, doot, doot. Right? And then, hidden journal spot there, if you like. Or, okay, hang on, let me do this. Do, 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 do. I don't want to cut. Oh, I covered up the washi tape there. So the other thing that you could do is again, you could create a pocket that goes behind here or something of a belly band. Right, so you could have, sometimes it's it looks nice if you have something poking out the top or the bottom. Like, let's say a nice piece of uh, scrapbook paper. Something like this, right? So you could put a pocket down here. Uh, where's my... You could stick and then if you wanted to again journaling on the back here or gluing mementos or something that you want to keep tags you name it it goes in there so that just brings more interest to the page because you've got the color up here and then you've got some interesting color maybe some text down here or you could glue this in the middle do to do do to do and then this gets uh, is a journal spot here and then once again then you have the interest here and the interest here and if it was me um, hang on hang on let me see here because I love tabs I would be tempted to do something like this Okay, these colors do not go together. <laughs> right? And then, again, you've had more interest to the page. And you've had, you really haven't done much. I mean, 
this again if you didn't like the blank a white page but you like a blank color then you just green I mean or paint it use your watercolors and paint the page let it dry then you decide if you want a belly band I kind of like that I think that's fun they call it a belly band or a pocket so then you have the interest of the, 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 the paint or the color at the back. This, this, this pocket, and then your card, of course, with the sentiment on the back. So I think the last thing that we'll do, um, and then yeah, I'm going to edit this down, but we are, we are, and now we're in. Holy cow. Okay, so let's say this is a greeting card. You're like, whoa. Right? And you're like, oh, I gotta save that. That's from my Auntie Jean. And you don't want to forget, and you want to remember what Auntie Jean said to you in the card. So again, we're gonna cut the card. And we want this side to be just a tiny bit thinner than this side. Oh, no, it needs to be shorter too. Just a wee bit, not a lot. Now, I think this is a job for two-way tape, myself. Um, but in the interest of moving things along here, so you're going to do... <laughs> you know what's funny? As I thought this was going to be like a 10-minute video. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, uh, I got a lot to learn. You guys, I have a lot to learn. Ten minutes. It took me ten minutes to say hello, practically. <laughs> okay. So you're going to take your lovely message from Auntie Jean, and you're going to stick that there like that. And then... You're going to decide what you want to do with this, uh, with this page, right? You're like, uh, <laughs> do, 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 there we go. Now it's not a blank page anymore. Then this is also going to be a tip out. Ta-da! Not only is it a tip out, but it's, is that going to fit? It's also a hidden pocket. Hang on, I think I need to cut this down a little bit. Don't want it to get stuck in the glue. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> there you go. So there you have a really fun little spot to tuck in so maybe you want to maybe aunt jean had given you a gift um with the card and you wanted to write down what she gave you and how you felt and all that kind of thing right so not only do you get to see the beautiful front of the card from your auntie jean and the message then you have a really lovely little spot in behind there to keep something precious and secret and it's just an interesting place to put cards or uh, uh, um, some journaling and then we have this so again you could you know glue in a piece of paper that fits just right underneath there if you wanted to so you had hidden journaling there or you glue in the piece of paper and again then you're working with all these contrasts of colors or patterns or whatever it is that floats your boat so there you have it. So that is our, this is just a test. Mistakes are welcome junk journal. So just a very quick, quick recap. We have the front page with the pocket where we can put several things in there. We have the page that we folded over, right? We made it a little bit too wide. We had places in there to tuck, place here to journal if you're so inclined. And there is a pocket here, 
um, that we put an envelope or again a postcard whatever you would like can go in there then we had we introduced ourselves to belly bands with all the journaling spots here and another envelope I love using fun envelopes in junk journals I love it then we have this um, horizontal belly band with some journaling spots here and see with these cards I would put white paper I would glue white paper over top of this and then journal in there so that's our belly bands and don't be afraid to let things stick out the side then we use some postcards and we have pockets and journaling spots there and we have when we are really got something to say <laughs> underneath there we stenciled our pages right so that they're not blank anymore and we're not intimidated we used rubber stamps again we did some collage with papers and washi tape here to cover up the blank page um, we started we covered over the page that we hated and created some journaling spots for ourselves here. Here we use the envelope. We glued down the envelope. Which is a great way to use up plain white envelopes. Then we have the really fun tip out where we had... I, how come I didn't leave the things in there? Oh well, doesn't matter. You could create a pocket here, you could put the belly band here, you could just use all of this space for journaling. Again, you could put in, remember, you could create a pocket here, or you could just write here, and then you in turn could create a pocket here as well. So that was a fun little tip out. And if you want to, I mean, you could create a three, you know, three of these so that it folds, 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 folds. That's super simple and easy to do as well. Have tape, we'll travel, let me tell you. Okay, and here, remember, we just did this one. This is about with the greeting card here. And then we have our card from Auntie Jean. So yeah, so that's it. I'm going to quickly say goodbye because I have talked your ear off for a very long time. I really hope you enjoyed this because I really, I, I had a lot of fun making this video for you. Um... It, sorry that the beginning was a little <laughs> was a little bit rough at the beginning because I didn't know what I was doing. But we got into it and I, this whole thing, I've got to work on this. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, especially if you watch till the end. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions, by all means, feel free to let me know. Um, yeah. Have a great afternoon. Please like this video. Give it a little thumbs up. And um, the girls did not make an appearance today. They are both sleeping upstairs, I believe. So um, that's it. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've got some great ideas here. Please, 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 please do not be heavily intimidated by a white blank page. Glue something on top of it. If it's freaking you out, glue something, anything, just glue something on top of it, you will be surprised how it just moves the whole process along so much more smoothly. Um, I appreciate you guys very much, and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye.